Welcome to Sundance 2018. We are here at the red carpet premiere of Kailash. It is a U.S. documentary feature in the Sundance Film Festival 2018. It follows the subject Kailash Satyarthi, who is a doctor, ridding child slavery in the world. Let's take a look. Well, the big lesson is that this man, Kailash, was just a man in India. And he heard about this girl who was taken into slavery, into a brothel. And he said, I have to go find her and save her. And he was just an ordinary man, but he went and did it. And he saved her, and then he saved more people, and then he saved more people. And now he's saved 83,000 children from child slavery, and he's created this incredible movement. So the idea is that an ordinary person, no matter who you are, if you see something that is wrong, you can do it. You can, if, as long as you care enough, you can change the world. We were just inspired every day by Kailash's work and his positive attitude and seeing him try to push him on um, the challenges that he faces and, and was uh, surprised and inspired by his internal, eternal optimism and um, really how hopeful he is on a day-to-day -day basis. So that sort of carried over onto me and the rest of the crew. Rescuing the children and watching them relearn how to be children again, or even for the first time, it was just such a heartwarming experience to see kids discover their childhood. 152 million around the world are deprived of their childhood, and Kailash is out there every day trying to end that. And so, um, yeah, it was, it was really beautiful to see, to see the children find their identity. Freedom is a God gift so it is non-negotiable. And slavery is a scourge on the face of humankind. The modern civilization and slavery cannot coexist and should not, must not coexist. As a consumer, people should ensure that they are not, not going to buy and use the products made by children. As citizens, they should demand their representatives, political leaders, that uh, do something to put an end to child labor and slavery. Change is possible and that together, uh, if we raise our collective voice, uh, we can make a difference and we can put pressures on, pressure on companies to become more transparent. And to, if we all collectively say, we're not going to buy goods that were made by kids, we demand you to be transparent in your supply chains, that change can actually happen.